Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. We're always grateful to have you watching uh, these and participating along. Uh, and we are encouraged because uh, it's our chance to connect with you around God's word. Uh, and that's why we're here, uh, not just to uh, have a pretty face on your video screen, but to uh, spend some time in God's word together, reflecting on his, his truth uh, and the goodness contained in it. Uh, and as we get started, I want you to think about what's the best gift you've ever received. Uh, maybe that was something uh, extravagant your spouse did for you. Maybe it was something unexpected, uh, a great blessing in a time of need, or maybe it was just something incredible that you always desired. Uh, and no matter how great the gift, and I've heard some stories of some incredible gifts from people over the years, uh, the reality is that they all pale in comparison to the gift of salvation in our life. And in Psalm 106, we're reminded of the, the greatness of that gift. Uh, and it starts uh, with some praise. Psalm 106, start with some praise, and then we'll see why. See, verse 1 says, Praise the Lord, O give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Who can utter the mighty deeds of the Lord or declare His praise? Blessed are they who observe justice, who do righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, when you show favor to your people. Help me when you save them that I may look upon the prosperity of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation. Hear this turn of reflection. He says, both we and our fathers have sinned. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedness. Our fathers, when they were in Egypt, did not consider your wondrous works. They did not remember the abundance of your steadfast love, but rebelled by the sea at the Red Sea. Yet he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make known his mighty power. See, this is, Psalm 106 is a fairly long psalm. There's 48 uh, verses where the psalmist continues to articulate the ways that the, the, the heritage of God's people, the nation of Israel, sinned and walked away from the goodness of God, where they rebelled against him, where they forgot his goodness, and yet God's love showed up in the midst of that. And I think all of us, if we're honest with ourselves, can look back at our life and we can recount those moments where we go, God, I'm ashamed of this thing that I did. I cringe at the thought of my rebellion and sin against you here. I think back here and I don't consider myself worthy of your grace and your love in my life. But that's the great thing about it. None of us deserve his grace. None of us deserve the love that is, is everlasting and unending. And as Ephesians 2 says, it's by the grace of God that we've been saved through faith. Not a result of our own works, it's the gift of God. So we don't boast about it, we don't brag about it, but instead we reflect on the fact this is a gift that God has given us. It's something that, that God has freely given to us, not because we earned it, not because we did anything wonderful for it, in fact, quite the opposite. But because it's so good, because we don't deserve that love, it should cause us to praise Him. With, with far more excitement than we could have for that unexpected physical gift that's wrapped and given to us or we're, we're walked outside and presented with, this is a gift that should cause us to praise God with our life. Uh, and so my hope and prayer for you is that you would worship God as a result of the fact that he has given you salvation through his son Jesus in spite of the fact that we have all sinned greatly against him. And that's why it is so incredibly good. So I hope that you have a great day reflecting on the past and reflecting on how God's love has been everlasting and unending in your life. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.